You're out shooting a video project handheld. You come back to the lab, check on it, and wow. 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 Now that's shaky. Not what you want. But there's a savior to this situation. Warp. Stabilizer. The magical effect that saved thousands of reshoots throughout the years. Now how do we bring that to Unreal Engine? Spoiler alert, you already can. Wow. And just so that we're on the same page, it's not actually called Warp Stabilizer, it's just Stabilizer. We'll, we'll get into it. Okay, anyway. With this Stabilizer footage, you can turn virtual camera footage that looks like this into this. What? And stay tuned to the end so we can compare the full results. So we've been messing around with the Dragonfly plugin by Glassbox for Unreal Engine. And there are just so many features offered with this plugin. We got slow motion playback, we got camera tracking, we got quick MP4 exports, and camera stabilization. Wow. Just so we're on the same page, I'm not being paid to say this, we've literally just enjoyed using the plugin. Look at me all focused in on their virtual camera tool, and here's what it looks like on my phone. You want to do a dolly shot in the middle of traffic? There you go. After I played around for a while, it was time to get serious. Let's collect some shots to stabilize. So here we are connected to Unreal Engine with my phone as a virtual camera using the Dragonfly Companion app. And here's my plan to test the stabilization. So the goal here is for me to handheld try to record the smoothest possible shot I can. Even just as my hand is naturally jittering, it's not looking great. But if we were gonna run it through Dragonfly's Warp Stabilizer, literally magically somehow come out perfect. I, I can't explain it, just need to show you. Well, actually I can. It uses 3D camera data to smooth the recorded move. Okay, back to me. I've got like tools that we can use to help us in the real world, like this hoverboard. If I get on hopefully that result, if the floor is level, which it might not exactly be, uh, should be a smoother shot, right? So I can do something like this. And that already is actually looking more consistent. Like the movement is better, but uh, you know, obviously there's gonna be some shakes. We're also gonna take both of those clips that we just shot and we're gonna run them through like Premiere Pro's Warp Stabilizer and see the difference between what like a 3D track stabilizer can do compared to my plane of a 2D image. Sweet. So here's our control. No stabilization, just me trying my best not to shake. But with the small size and weight of the phone, it was tough. Next, we've taken that footage and put it through Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro. Yes, it was definitely smoother, but that classic warping effect is obvious and nowhere near perfect. The clear winner is the Dragonfly Stabilizer tool that uses 3D data to create a crazy smooth shot. Well, what do you think? Worth trying out this plugin? Let me know in the comments below. Man, that was fun. And this stabilizer is just another tool to add to your virtual production toolkit. Here's another one. Click the link up here to learn about camera tracking for virtual production.